I was having a rotting week. I've literally felt so rubbish about myself all week, so I decided I was gonna sit down, do my hair and makeup, and bring you guys along. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and if you wanna see how I got ready to do absolutely nothing, then let's go. When I say nothing, I mean nothing. Right. The hair is one day pre-hair wash, so there's not a lot that can be done at this point. I'm just gonna push it back on my hairband and I'm gonna actually do my makeup first. I would usually do my hair first if I was like curling it or doing something with it, but it's just gonna go on a ponytail to be honest because it needs washed. I've got the window open so the natural light, it might be changing the lighting of the video as we go through. I mean, I'm hoping it's gonna be all right. I'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare, like the tiniest amount. I've said this before, but my skincare really pills under makeup. Like, I don't know if I'm doing too much or but I don't feel like I am. I don't feel like I do a lot of skincare in comparison to what I see other people do, and I feel like it just pills. So, yeah, I don't really know. So I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm just using the L'Oreal Revitalift um, Hyaluronic Acid. I really like this, it's quite light, and gives my skin some nice hydration. And then I'm literally just gonna do moisturizer. I'm just gonna do Hyaluronic Acid and moisturizer and hope that we don't pill. I'm gonna use the Garnier Vitamin C brightening day cream and I'm just going to use a little bit like I see the girlies on TikTok and YouTube like using a ton of moisturizer and I'm like oh my god that would just come off everywhere like I literally do like this like three little dots I feel like I need to mention it in every single video and I know that I shouldn't but please just ignore the breakouts around my chin my skin has been going through it at the minute but we'll get there we've got the right skincare and we're on track to getting rid of these scars, but for now, we're just rocking with them. I've just realised I'm doing this entire video in the viewfinder. I haven't even got a mirror. I need to get a mirror. I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Hang on. That's better. How on earth was I meant to see anything? I really need to get me one of those, like, bubble headbands that everyone puts in to do their makeup. Like, the, um, it's not like suede. What is it? What's the texture? Don't know, but I feel like all the TikTok girlies have one of them. They're like, slick their hair back to do their makeup. That's what I need in my life. Because I'm not actually going anywhere, I feel like now is the perfect time to try bits of makeup that I've had and I haven't tried when I've been like needing my makeup to look good. You know, like those few things that you, you want to keep, you want to use, but you don't want to use them when you know that your makeup has to look good. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I get really scared using new makeup if I'm like actually going out somewhere. Like if I'm getting ready for a new night out. A new night out? As opposed to an old night out? If I'm getting ready for a night out, I'm really reluctant to use new makeup because I'm like, oh my god, what if it's a disaster? And naturally, I never leave myself enough time to like take it off and start again. Like, it would just be the way that it is. So I actually have a few things here that I've never tried before that I'm actually quite excited to use. Juice break. Let's get into it. Let's do it. The first thing I'm going to use is this. It's the, hang on, what is it? Illa Masca Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. And I think this is a primer. I'm a bit unsure, to be honest. It comes in this little tub. And... It's like that, like a glittery... I mean, I think this is a primer. I feel like it's not skincare. Let me quickly Google. A best-selling hybrid, this primer hydrates and glows for a lit from within base. Veil Primer brings together two of our most iconic formulas. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Not bothered. Um... Help smooth skin appearance and your makeup looks flawless on an even base with fine shimmer pigments. Gives the skin a natural glowing finish with a lip from within glow. Well, lip from within is exactly what we're trying to achieve. So let me give you a go. Kind of reminds me a little bit of MAC strobe cream, but it's actually got full on glitter in it, which I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I don't know. Let's see. I don't know how much to use. Well, it feels like it's not going to blend like it feels oh I don't know I don't know how I feel about this texture it feels like kind of jellyish like quite thick let's try it one thing I really do need to try and I know I'm so late on the game but is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter like I really want that for underneath my foundation and I just always forget that I want it and just never bother to get it I might actually order that right after this because I've wanted that for a while I'm gonna be honest I feel like that did absolutely nothing do I need more? Let's try a bit more. I just feel like it's done nothing. Can you see any lip from with all glint? Lip from with all glint? Lip from within glow? 
No, sorry, that's done nothing. I mean, maybe it'll shine through when I put my foundation on, but I'll be honest, that wasn't that impressive. Moving on. I'm gonna actually do my face first because I'm not really gonna do a big heavy eye. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I'm not about to do a cut crease to go and sit on my sofa, but well, you never know. I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier foundation. This is an oldie but a goodie, and I absolutely love this. It never does me wrong, so let's go in with this. I'm actually gonna just apply this directly to my face. Like, what's the point in making a mess on my hand when I can just do this? That does the job just as good. I wanna use a brush, I do I wanna use a sponge. I'm gonna go in with a brush first. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M439 and blend it out that way first. And then I'm gonna go in with a sponge afterwards. I feel like all my foundations are really tan for me at the minute. I am probably the palest I have been in a really, really long time due to a few things. Due to, I absolutely do not go on the sunbeds. So if I'm in the UK, there's a slim to no chance that I'm gonna get any sun basically between the months of I would say, except for one month of the year, basically 11 months of the year, there's a high chance of no sun. So when I'm in the UK, I'm pale. I haven't been on a holiday in, I actually wasn't on holiday that long ago, but to be honest, I never put my face in the sun, like ever, ever, ever. I always use Factor 70 on my face and I always have a hat on, or sunglasses on, and I don't put my face in the sun. And obviously it's great for like preventing aging as, I get older and preventing all the things that I want to avoid but at the same time it just makes me so pale <laughs> like especially when the rest of your body's tan and then your face is so pale like it's just a struggle really and I do get tempted like I'm like oh should I just put my face in the sun just for like two minutes just like get a tiny bit of colour but obviously naturally you will still tan even with factor 70 on like a tiny bit but in comparison to how brown I used to get when I wasn't really that into skincare and I would put my face in the sun all the time, like, that was wild. See how dark this foundation is for me, even like matching to my neck. I'm gonna have to bring this all the way down here or I'm gonna have to put a turtleneck on because this is just not the vibe. I should really use sunless tanner, like I should really put some fake tanner, but my skin on my face is just so sensitive. I'm so reluctant, I would never put like, a full fake tan on my face like maybe I could get one that's specifically for the face but my skin is just so sensitive like I don't know if I'd want to risk it like I just don't know if it's worth it but already I'm like okay yeah it's worth it like you need a tan girl let's just bring some of this down here so we look somewhat matching I feel like that's a little bit better a bit matchy matchy and then I'm just gonna go in with a damp sponge and just go over that to take off any excess and just make it look a little bit more natural. I've been into more of like a natural foundation recently, one where you can actually still see my skin underneath it slightly, like obviously the blemishes and stuff aren't it, but I do like to be able to see like just a little bit of texture through the foundation just so it doesn't look so cakey and heavy, you know. I just realised I forgot to do my brows. I always do my brows first, always. Well, not today we don't. I guess I'll do my brows next, considering I just forgot to do them. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. What's new? Actually, I might not be able to use it if I can't get it open. Oh my god. There we go. I feel inspired. After this video, I'm going to log off. or log off. And I'm going to buy the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filler. And I'm going to buy some fake tan for my face. Like, some kind of tan and drops. Like... Maybe the hyaluronic acid tan drops that you can get. Um, maybe like a skincare with a tint in it. I'm gonna do something because Lord knows I am pasty. Not that there's anything wrong with being pasty, but I just feel like I always look a little bit better with the tan. I'm just gonna brush the brows up like that. I feel like an eyebrow can just completely transform your face. Although I do need mine doing, they are a little bit spiky at the minute, like they are quite long. They need a little trim. There's something so therapeutic about sitting down and just getting ready and not being in a rush. Every single time I go somewhere and I'm sitting down doing my hair and makeup, I'm always in a rush. I never leave myself enough time. I never just sit down and get ready leisurely and just like relax and take my time. I'm always like, right, I've got like 10 minutes, I need to get ready and like set timers. I'm like, I need to do this, I need to do that. But this is so nice, like I've got nowhere to be. I can just take my time, enjoy makeup, and just like have a play. This is amazing. 
I'm having a great time. This is honestly just so relaxing. Let's put some concealer on. We're about to overheat. I am definitely going to get a new camera, I've decided, because this overheats every 10 minutes. Can anyone tell me, does the Sony ZV-1 overheat every 10 minutes? Because I've read some reviews that say that all Sony cameras do this and they all overheat. And I've changed all the settings, I've done everything I need to do, and it still overheats. So I'm like, I don't want to go and buy the Sony ZV-1 if it's just going to do the exact same thing. I'd rather get a different camera. So if anyone has any camera recommendations, please let me know. Let me know what you think of the Sony ZV-1 and I'll be right back while the camera cools down and obviously the lighting and everything is going to change. It's amazing. Back. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm actually going to use this, which I found in my drawer, which truthfully I don't know for how long I've had, but I actually used to really love this, so I'm going to use this. Considering I've got nowhere to go, I'm not about to be using my expensive concealers. So this is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. And the only thing I hate about this is the applicator. Like, this is so annoying to me. Like, it just doesn't come out as thick as I would like it, but we'll live. I'm also going to use this just to spot conceal some of these little... areas down here. Is there anything more unflattering than the way you look what are like during your makeup? I know it obviously all comes together at the end but like during the process it's not a good look. I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime um, Light Boost highlighter because this isn't that light of a shade so I just want something underneath to make it a little bit brighter and this is basically like pretty much white so this is just going to whiten the under eye. There we go, that's just lightened it a bit. So yeah, I was saying, I'm pretty much set on the fact that I am going to get a new camera, but I don't know if the Sony ZV-1 is the one. I would hate to buy it and for the same things, problems that I have with this camera to happen. Um, and I've also noticed that the sound quality on this camera isn't the best. So yeah, I think sound quality, overheating. Um, that's it really, to be honest. I do think the quality of this camera is pretty good. Um, but it doesn't have a proper built-in microphone so that's what I need and yeah the, just the overheating every 10 minutes is just really bothering me like because every time it comes back on like naturally the lighting's changed slightly and like the angle might have changed if I've touched the camera and it's just really frustrating so yeah I'm gonna have to invest I think the time has come I think I might try and set myself a little goal that I know I haven't been consistent on YouTube for forever at the minute like there's been a, a good chunk of time that I was off like over a year so I might set myself a goal that if I can be consistent with it for six months and upload every week for six months and like I'm really back in and enjoying it and back in the swing of things that I'll reward myself with a new camera because it is a lot of money to spend if I end up spending the money and then I fall back off again and I just don't do it then I'm like what am I going to do with this camera so that might be what I do is six months is that a good target is that long enough I think so if I can do it, yeah, if I can do it for six months, I deserve the new camera. Oh no, there's a hair. It actually looks really smooth. I quite like that. I love it when you find something that you haven't picked up for years, then you realise, like, why did I ever stop using that? That was so good. I'm going to go in with a little bit of cream bronzer, and because we are ghostly pale, I'm going to use the Refi cream bronzer in the shade Tan. This is actually a really, oh, really dark colour. I find this to be really, like, quite ready, like, orangey red. Um, which is sometimes a good thing if I am really pale, but sometimes can end up making me look a little bit orange. So we're just going to go in with a bit of a light hand with this. Warm up the face slightly. See how it's like just quite red? I don't know if I just maybe bought the wrong shade. I just feel like with Refi, like I do really like some of the products, but don't shoot me for this, but I just... I'm not sure I really understand the hype. I know it's very clean girl, very natural, but I just feel like some of the products you don't get a lot of payoff because obviously it's trying to give that clean girl aesthetic. So you have to use loads of product to actually get like enough off. And I just find, I just don't love it. You know, like there's some products that are good, but I just, I'm not like die hard like everyone else seems to be. Like I'm really going in here just to get a little bit of bronzer. I'm not sure. Sorry, don't come for me, but that's just my honest opinion. Sorry. Gorgeous. Gorgeous is really my, like, my new saying at the minute. I can't stop saying it. I say it every two minutes about everything. I need to stop. 
everything is not gorgeous. Well, most things are. Just gonna quickly fill in my brows off camera. I'm just gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Just literally fill in the front and the underneath. I'm not really gonna do a lot, to be honest, because I'm quite happy with how natural and fluffy that brow is looking, but I'm just gonna do that, and then I'll be right back. Use break. I absolutely love this cup. I didn't get the proper Stanley because like it was 70 quid. I wasn't paying 70 quid for a cup, but I just got mine. I think I got mine on Amazon. I'm not really sure. And I love it. And I always fill it with squash. Like mine has blackcurrant juice in it right now. And I just find it just spices up my life a little bit. And like, I love drinking water, but like just a tiny little bit of squash. It's sugar free. It doesn't do any harm. So I just like rally through my squash during the day. But I am terrified of getting jowls. I know that everyone says if you drink through a straw all day every day because your mouth is doing this. It's creating tension here and when you are older you're going to get jowls. And I do drink through this all day, every day to be honest. I'm like should I take the straw out and just sip through it? But it's just not as fun, you know? It's not as fun as like having your little sippy cup. Like drinking. Don't know, am I being stupid? But I just don't want to get jowls. Should I return to the normal cup? But everyone has one. Like I take mine to the gym. I always have it in the car. I have it next to me just all the time. I probably go through two or three of these a day. Um, of squash and I just love it. But I'm not gonna stop just yet. Maybe I will when I start getting jowls. I'm just gonna line my tight line with this black eyeliner, which is not gonna be very flattering to watch on camera, but here we are. I can keep one eye closed and do it, but I can't do it the other side. The other side both have to close. I always want to use this Refi Topaz Gloss Highlighter and I've used it a couple of times and every single time I use it, it breaks up my makeup underneath and takes it off. I think it's because it's so wet. It's like not sticky, it's like literally like wet. And every single time I use it, it takes my makeup off underneath and I'm just scared that it's gonna do the same. Should I try it? Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna try it. And if it takes my makeup off, I'm never using this again. Like. Ever. Do I use it with a brush? Do I use it with my finger? I see everybody else use it with their finger, right? I've used the smallest amount, like, and I'm going to take that between both fingers for both sides. Maybe that's even too much. So that on each side. Right, let's go. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, it hasn't took it off, it hasn't took it off. Hmm, has it? I think it has a tiny little bit. It's give me a gorgeous glow, but it has left like a little patch here. Mm. It has given me like a nice glow, but I just don't know if it slightly broke my makeup up underneath. Mm. I'm going to let it dry down for a second. I'm going to wash this off my fingers because it's giving me the ick and I'll be back. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're going to let it off. I think it does look okay. It does look very shiny though, but... I think we can work with it. I'm not sure how I feel about you. I forgot about cream blush. That's okay. Never mind. Maybe I'll do cream blush afterwards. I've seen a lot of people set in their face and then doing cream blush at the end, which low key absolutely terrifies me. But I might give it a go. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it at the end. Right, I'm just going to set the under eye. I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder on my Trigwell powder puff as always. I sometimes use this one, I sometimes use the Huda Beauty one. But today. We're just going to go with this one. Let's see how this highlighter works when I set the under eye. You see, it's just like disappeared almost and like gone patchy. No, I hate it. I knew I hated it. And I hated it for a reason because it doesn't work with powder and I'm always going to set my under eye. Maybe I needed to put the highlighter on top of the powder. It's just kind of disappeared now, I feel like. And what is left there is just patchy. Brilliant. I'm just going to leave it and try and rectify as we go on. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. And I'm actually going to use a puff in here rather than a brush and just set the rest of my face. I'm just going to go over that highlighter because at this point, I probably just want rid of it to be honest. I can't be bothered with it. I knew it didn't work. Maybe it just works when you want to do like no makeup makeup and you literally just have like bronzer highlighter and lip gloss on and other than that it just doesn't work with other products but let me know if I'm using it wrong like am I the only one 
that doesn't quite get it. It's just not quite working for me. We're going to bronze and I'm actually going to use a blush to bronze. This is the Milani Bellissimo Bronze Baked Powder Blush. But it's this gorgeous like brown shimmery bronzer. Um, well, sorry, brown shimmery blush. But I am going to use it as a bronzer because... I don't know. I just think it's going to look nice. We're about to find out. We're experimenting with new products today. And we're learning. So let's see what happens. I quite like that. I think this one might be a win. I just felt like sitting down and doing my makeup today because, you know, as a girl, I just feel like I've been having, like, a rotting week. Like, just one of those weeks where, well, probably a rotten month, to be honest, where, like, I haven't worn makeup in the longest time. I haven't, like, got myself ready and, like, felt good about myself. I was just kind of always in a tracksuit. She says while she's sat in, like, a big oversized hoodie, but I was just, like, always in a tracksuit, like, no makeup, like, my skin's been playing up. Like, I just hadn't really been, like, I'd been self-caring in the sense of, like, I've been eating healthy, I've been looking after myself, I've been exercising, um, been doing my skincare, like, all of that, but I hadn't, like, done any self-care to, like, make myself feel better about the way that I felt. And I know that it shouldn't be all about, like, how you look, like, as long as you're taking care of yourself and all of those things, but I generally just was, like, you know, just every time you look in the mirror when you're just a bit, like... Like, I just wanted to feel good. And I know I've got nowhere to go and usually I wouldn't really bother. I'd just be like, I've got nowhere to go. I'm not wasting, like, my time and, like, wasting my products. But I just felt like, you know what? This is going to make me feel better. Just, like, getting myself ready and, yeah, just, like, feeling good about myself. Even if it's only for a couple of hours, like, to have my makeup on and just, like, have my makeup on for a couple of hours. I just felt like I needed to do it to just let myself know. You know what? Don't worry. It'll be okay. I absolutely love that bronzer. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I will use that again. That was a 10-10 for me. See, now I know if I'm ever going on a night out or I'm going somewhere important where my makeup needs, needs to look good, this is a product I can rely on. This, however, is not trustworthy. This is the time to find all of this information out. Love that. I'm just going to use a bit of powder highlight just to kind of try and diffuse that other highlighter and just make it look a bit better. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown one in the shade Bronze Glow. This is a bit dirty but let's use this to try and make it look a little bit better. But yeah, I just felt like I was just trash talking myself, just like always putting myself down, saying like I looked and felt awful. So I really made an effort this week to like get myself in the gym, like eat super healthy, um, like I say, I've been doing my skincare and I've been on it, but obviously when I've been breaking out and I've just been feeling generally a bit crappy. So I was like, you know what? Let's sit down. Let's do my hair and makeup. Let's make myself like my favourite lunch. Let's like just have a really nice day. And I love that I'm not in a rush. Like I'm genuinely really enjoying myself just sat here. Like even if this makeup looked horrific at the end, like I've had fun, you know? I think the skin is skinning. Do the eyes next or should we finish the skin? I'm going to do the eyes next because I'm probably not going to do a lot. I'm going to... What should we do? I actually whipped out the Morphe 350 palette. Like, what a throwback. Because I never really use this anymore. So I was like, let me just use some of these shadows up. Because I haven't used them in a minute. So I'm just going to do something super boring and super minimal. But let's use this shade. So since I was having my, like, rotting week rotting month whatever I took myself on my laptop the other day and I literally booked in all of my beauty appointments I was like let me do everything at once so it just feels like a real glow up like I booked in everything in the space of like a month so I've got my laser hair removal appointment booked in I've got my hair appointment booked in I've got my nail appointment booked in I'm gonna get my brows done um like I've just booked in everything within the space of a couple of weeks of each other just so that everything kind of gets done together and you feel like you've had like a little bit of a transformation um and I've been really toying with the idea of getting my teeth done as well I have done like at home whitening but I just feel like I want to get like a little bit of bonding on the bottom just to kind of even them out and just make them look a little bit not like less natural, but just like a little bit more done. Like, I don't know what I mean, but just make them look a little bit more put together, you know, just like a little 
cap there. I think it would look good, but I'm just deciding whether it's something I want to do. My friend used to work in a dentistry and she basically told me not to do it. She was like, don't do it. If you don't have to do it, like if your teeth like aren't super, super jagged or like you're really like insecure about them, just don't bother doing it because they end up chipping and you need them replaced and it just ends up costing a lot of money. She was like, just really don't bother. But I did listen to her, but I don't know if I will continue to listen to her. I do really want them done. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting like all my beauty treatments done at the same time. Like brows, hair, nails, like everything. And I'm just gonna feel like I've had a little bit of a glow up. I just took a bit like of an orangey eyeshadow through the crease. And then I'm just going to take a darker eyeshadow in the outer corner. And that's probably all I'm going to do, to be honest, because I can't really be bothered doing much else. Let's take this really dark shade and do like a smoky outer corner. This is your sign. If you've been trash talking to yourself this week, if you've been putting yourself down, telling yourself that you don't look good, not feeling good, just like sit yourself down, do your makeup, make yourself feel a little bit better, do something that you know is going to make you feel good. Like if that is doing your makeup, then do your makeup. If it's, I don't know, baking something, do that. If it's going for a run, do that. If it's trying on your favourite outfit, do that. Like whatever it is that you know is going to make you feel good about yourself and remember that you are that bitch, then do it because... Right now, I already feel a thousand times better. I really do. Should we do like a shimmery eye? Why the bloody hell not? Eh? Shimmery eye to sit on the sofa. Let's try either of these. I've got both of these that are like a shimmer. This one's like a shimmery gold and this one's like, well, it's like a shimmery silver gold and this one's like a shimmery silver silver. If that makes sense. Like, can you see this one's slightly more goldy? This one's like silver, silver. Um, I'm gonna try. Let's try the goldy one first. I don't know if I'm gonna need a little bit of like fix plus for this because it looks, I don't know, it looks okay. Nothing like a shimmery eye to go sit in my living room on a Saturday. I'm gonna do my waterline with this shimmery brown eyeliner in the shade Antique Bronze. Just a little bit less harsh than a brown, less harsh than a black, just to give us A little bit in the waterline. Gorgeous. Back with the gorgeous. What have we got left? Literally just mascara and a lip, I think. I'm going to do my mascara off camera because that's super boring. And then I will be right back. All that's left to do is the lip, pretty much. I am half tempted to... I haven't done any blush, like, at all. And I'm kind of liking it, to be honest. I'm kind of liking how, like, orangey brown it is. I don't really want to go in with something super pink. But I am half tempted to do the cream blush over the top of everything now to like give it a glow but I'm just scared imagine it breaks up my entire face of makeup oh, that'll really tip me over the edge that will really tip me over the edge you know what I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it see what happens do I use the Charlotte Tilbury beauty light wand the blush or do I use the Mitchell blush because this has to go like straight on the skin which is quite scary you know what, I'm going to try it. This is the time to try. Where's the on button? All right, let's give it a good squeeze. This is in the shade... I don't actually know. Pink Gasm. We're in business. Let's just do one, two, three. Go. Oh my God, please don't break up my makeup. Please don't break up my makeup. Please don't break up my makeup. Please, 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 please. Okay. Three dots was quite a lot. Maybe I just needed two, but it hasn't broken up. That looks kind of good. See, now I've learned a new trick. And now, next time I do it, I won't be scared of this product because I know, you know what? This works. How good is just trying new things when, like, you're not bothered if they go wrong? Like, obviously, I still would have cried, but... Like I had nowhere to go, but it actually turned out good. Wow. Very pleased with that. Oh, now I've, I've left, like, there's too much. Mm, never mind. I hate wasting product, but never mind. Very happy with that. Just lips, really. 
Let's line the lips. Line those lip -roonies. I'm just going to use this brown random lip liner that I have in my drawer. I think this is just from Sephora. But let's line those lippies. Absolutely starving. All I think about is my dinner. It's actually a little bit more pink than I wanted. I thought it was brown, but it's quite pinky, but never mind. And then I'm going to use this before. I've never actually used this before, but I'm going to use this. This is the NYX Lingerie Lip Satin in the shade Satin Ribbon. It's like a really muted nude. And I don't know what this is going to be like. I've never used it before. So let's see. Oh, okay. It's given concealer lip, but I kind of like it. The consistency feels nice. Let's kind of see how that dries down. I do like the colour, but I'm just not sure how that's going to dry. I'm just going to take the lip liner and tidy it up a little bit. I'm just going to take a slightly darker lip liner, just on the edges. I'm not sure about this lip. On the top, just slightly, just to up the liquid lipsticks now and it's going to start cracking and looking dry but i'm quite happy with that color i'm just going to let that dry down that looks a bit better i just added a slightly darker color on the top last but not least i need to just set my face and i decided i'm going to give this a go and i'm absolutely terrified this is the iconic london prep set glow and i haven't used this in the longest time and sometimes i remember well i remembered why i don't use this and it's because when you spray it it doesn't come out very nicely it kind of squirts but it sat in my drawer so it either needs to be used or it needs to go in the bin. So I'm going to give it a go, but I'm low-key terrified it's going to, like, squirt onto my face rather than, like, mist and ruin everything. But let's see. No, it's done it. I'm committed. I'm committed. Ah! Oh, it's, like, splattered. Can you see? Oh no, can you see like the dots that it's left there, there. I'm just going to let it dry and say a prayer. Oh, I knew that was going to happen and I did it anyways. We have identified another unreliable product. It's the Iconic London Glow. I've just let it dry down and I mean it has dried down for the most part. But can you just see like there's a little speck there where it's just left like a little bit of glitter. And if I do just like scratch it, it does kind of like scratch it off. But there's like a mark there rather than like a mist. It's just like splodged. I don't know if I've just got like a dodgy one and the mist on mine is broke. Meant to give like a mist. Maybe I could pour the product out of that bottle and into like a different spray bottle that I've got. Maybe because it's obviously just like the mister, like the trigger button on the top. Um, Because I do actually like the way that it set my makeup. Like it does look glowy and it does look nice. But obviously those splodges, like you can just see the sum on my forehead as well. Like it's kind of ruined it a little bit. Yeah, maybe I could just put it into a different mister. That might be what I do. I've just opened that drawer because I had to get my hair stuff. Let's do something with this hair. There's not a lot that can be done, I'm going to be honest. It's absolutely disgusting. I'm going to brush it. It's hair wash day tomorrow, so I'm not about to curl it because I just can't be bothered and yeah i've also got an appointment to get my like my, in my hair appointment i'm gonna get my gray hairs dyed i have come to the conclusion that it is time i know i've got a ton of gray hairs so don't be out here telling me i've tried to put off getting them dyed for the longest time because i didn't want to do it and i've decided that the time has come so yeah okay what are we gonna do we can do a slick back pony or we can do a slicked back clip situation i'm not sure i probably just want something comfortable to be honest because i am just in the house so i might just literally do a clip and then put a bit of gel on to get these sides nice and tidy maybe just like that i'm gonna try and do just a clip but just like do a bun first because apparently this is the trick and then flip your bun to the top, like that. I'm not demonstrating this very well. And then a clip at the bottom, like that. I think I'm just going to do that, to be honest, because that feels 
good, it's off my face. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of hair gel. This is the VO5 Mega Hold Gel Spray. I absolutely love this. Sorry, the sun's just come back around so the lighting's changed slightly. But I absolutely love this because I hate the feeling of gel on my fingers. If you haven't noticed, I hate having things on my hands. And this you can just spray it directly on your hair and then smooth it back. And obviously you still have to touch it, but like it's just not that like residue on your fingers because it's a spray. It's a lot finer. Voila! I feel like a new woman. And I feel like that claw clip actually looks cute. I'm not very good at ever doing claw clips. I feel like they always look a little bit rubbish, but I feel like that looks quite cute. Hmm. Okay guys, so that is it. That is the finished look, the makeup and the hair. I'm gonna be honest, I am staying in this tracksuit. I'm not about to put a nice outfit on and I'm not about to put jeans on to sit on the sofa. So I am gonna stay in this tracksuit, but I feel so much better. This is your sign that if you're feeling rubbish about yourself, sit yourself down, do your makeup, take your time, have a self-care day, just really just feel good about yourself. Like, I just feel so much better after doing that. Thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end. I hope you really enjoyed the video and enjoyed the finished look, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!